Good morning, modern steaders. Yesterday, it was 40s in rain. Today, it's 20 and snow flurries. There's a lot of ice out here. Gotta be careful. Go check on the goat's water and see if it froze overnight. Didn't fill it up last night with warm water. So I'm assuming it froze because the water that was in there has been cold from the whole day. So let's see. We got warm water in a new bucket here so we can refresh it and then we'll see how it does all day long. Whoa. Whoa. Ice is everywhere, girls. Watch out. So the water's been in out all night and all day, or all day and all night, and there's just a thin layer of ice on there. And it's like 21 degrees out right now. I'm gonna swap out, clean that bucket out. Oops. Put a clean one in here with warm water. And we'll see how this goes today. Finally, Willow, you don't smell like a male goat anymore. I'm gonna give her some herbs that are, that will help her milk production stay up. I don't remember everything that's in there, but there's a lot of raspberry leaf. Willow normally doesn't like when I put the herb in her chaff hay. I think it smells good. But she don't, she'll eat it, but she'd rather be not put it in there. I'm terrible at waiting. And that's what we have to do now to find out if Willow is pregnant. Oh, man, it's a waiting game. And then if she's not pregnant, we'll have to bring it to the back to the breeder and let her visit the buck again. And if she is, around May 1st, we'll be having kids. That's right around the time we usually get our piglets for the year, too. <laughs> then the meat birds will be showing up. We get in the garden ready. <laughs> Your girls want some hay? Ouch. You waiting for some hay? Next fall, we'll be able to breed Buttercup and Blossom. <laughs> That's a good hay blossom. It's supposed to keep your head inside the feeder. Yeah. Like Willow there. If you keep it inside the feeder, you don't drop the food outside. Maybe if I extend that where she's standing on out a little bit more. She'll be like Blossom, uh, she'll be like Buttercup and Willow straight on and they keep their heads in. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. The foam and the tires dried up nice overnight. I got one more can left to finish this. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, you might be lost right here. We're building some DIY chicken waters that won't freeze in the winter. I'll put a link right here for the video we started building them in yesterday. Y'all wet. Float out. Be nice. It's slippery and icy, huh? Back. 
up with something. Their water is frozen a lot thicker than the one in the goat barn. That's probably double, if not triple as thick. Better grab their eggs now before they freeze on us. Five again. That's our lucky number. Moose, I'll be back to get your door open. Oh, Figaro and Pluto remind me of Tom and Jerry. They're always chasing each other around. Oh, better get the eggs out of my pocket before I forget. We make scrambled eggs. That's not fun. The camera lens is fogging up. But yeah, it's not any fun when you crack the eggs in your pocket. I've done it a few times. Here, hold on. That'll last for a minute. I've done it a few times and it's usually when I'm wearing a hoodie. I'll have them in my pouch. I'll bend over. And then you hear It's like, oh man, I forgot they were in there. All right, maybe we can save Moose and his ladies with the ax. The other thing that stinks is the driveway's all ice now. Once you have snow on the ground, you really don't want rain on top of that because then everything just freezes. Makes for a big old mess. I'm hoping I can get the ax under here. There we go. And kind of dry it up. There we go. Frozen chicken poop. I guess I never thought I'd be chopping frozen chicken poop with my axe. I'm gonna see how far this last can of foam can get us before I run out and get some more. I'm hoping I can get this tire finished. a three-quarter inch foam I had to run out and get some more spray foam I had to pick up some straw I don't think I've ever been so excited about some bales of straw Normally, our straw comes from Canada, but we can't find it local. Well, these bales of straw, I just found out, are from a local farmer in Vermont. He's been growing barley for a small local brewery, so he has bales of straw. And I just, I just think that's awesome. I'm able to get local straw. That means the farming community around here is getting stronger. They're doing new things. Oh, that just inspires me. That just excites me. And now we got local straw. I don't know, just puts a smile on my face. What's the matter, are you cold? Huh, are you cold, mister? Are you cold, oh. You should have came in when I left. Crazy kitty, crazy kitty. The straw that we get from Canada, I just have no idea where it comes from. 
how it was grown, if they put Roundup on it, what they did. This being local straw, I know the story. And when I can know the story about something, I just like it. What did you think of your first truck ride, Figaro? Come on, come out, come on. You coming out? Come on. Like I just wanted to go in the house. I didn't want a truck ride. Trying to get this one ready. I'll spill on some of the bigger cracks. I started making these in yesterday's video. I'll put a link to that video right here. Holds that on really good. And then once we have the foam in here, the foam will glue it in place also. Oops, that's a little messy. Don't want to touch that with my hands. Ugh. This stuff makes a mess and it's hard to get off if you get it on you. The hose just popped off the hard plastic end. Just trying to work it around in all different directions so it can fill as much of the air pockets as possible. Oh. Don't like that. I'll let that set up and then we can cut the foam and we'll be ready. These are gonna be finished just in time. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot colder than today, so it'll be a perfect time to do a test with an insulated and a not insulated water and see which one freezes first. This dog's got the life. Oh, it's rough, isn't it, Pluto? You keeping warm by the wood stove? I forgot to turn the camera on when I flipped the other one over. I want to check this one and see if, see if the same thing's happening. No. Yes. I'm not a scientist, so I don't know the science behind it, but for some reason to me, it feels like wherever the saran wrap is, it doesn't like to dry that much. I don't know if it's made because it's made out of plastic or what. This has been sitting for quite a few hours now and it has not expanded. Same thing happened here. It looked like that, if not worse. And now it's expanded a little bit since I took the saran wrap off. So I don't know if it's a lack of oxygen or what the deal is. We've been putting the foam in a little bit at a time, letting it set up overnight and everything, so I don't know. This has been a two-day process now of building these. This right here is day one, and then down here is the next day. On this one, I believe, this is day one, the first spray, and then we sprayed it again later that night, and it still didn't set up. So, I'm a little confused. I'm going to finish letting the water sit with the bowls out and see what happens. Worst case scenario, we'll have to trim back the foam. Did your water freeze on you? Curious to see. It's 19 degrees out. No, she's right there. Willow. 
Ever since you went to see the buck, you've been pretty bossy since. Yeah, you have been. Did you get all spunky? <laughs> Watch out. Go through the hole, goat. Watch out. Go through the door. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> hey, no more head buttons. Just a smidge of ice? Yeah. But, it, but if I moved it around, it wasn't. Yeah, it's very thin. Awesome. Willow! And that's been sitting out here for nine hours now. Yeah. Yep. Cool beans. Would you two quit it? Supposed to be a cold one tonight, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. You can tell they've been sleeping in their straw. Go ahead. Look how tall you are. Look at that blue sky finally. We haven't had that in over a week. That's... What's that? You had sun today? Awesome. It's nice to see some sun. You got snow in your boot? Good thing we're going in the house to make dinner. I think today's a good day for homemade chicken noodle soup with homemade egg noodles. Mm -hmm. Does that sound good? Yes. All right, you want to do the eggs? Yeah. Awesome. Can you get them? Up here? Yep, two of them. Got one. Can you reach? No double yolk? No. We're running low on goat's milk, guys. It's not good. Is it because of the winter time? Yeah, she's gonna stop producing all together pretty soon. Right, so we got half cup milk, two eggs, and now we need two and a half cups of flour. We need one tablespoon of butter. Thank you. Welcome. So precise you are. Yes. Can I put in first? Nope. What about the butter? There's your melted butter. It kind of looks like eggs. It kind of smells like mac and cheese too. Mac and cheese is pasta.
There's gonna be links in the description down below to these recipes. Now we're gonna make the chicken noodle soup part. I'm gonna put the Instant Pot on saute mode, putting a little bit of avocado oil or olive oil, whatever you prefer. Gonna top up four pieces of celery. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of parsley, the same of rosemary, and I'm going to add in two bay leaves. I'm going to pour in about oh, eight to ten cups of homemade bone broth. I made this in yesterday's video, I'll put a link to that right here. I'm using leftover chicken from one of our pasture raised birds that we cooked whole the other night. Pluto smelt it and came running over. It's not for you Pluto, sorry. Oh, Figaro, is it cold outside? I take that as a yes. Put it on soup mode and cook it for eight minutes. Shut it off. I'm going to let it sit and do the natural release for five minutes. Once the soup's all cooked in the Instant Pot, it's still boiling hot. So I add in frozen corn. It helps cool off the soup and cooks the corn pretty quick. Since this is fresh pasta, it only takes three minutes to cook.
I wonder how your egg noodles came out, Libby's. Did you make them? Good. They hot. Yeah. Came out good. Winter time is a time that seems like everything slows down. We switch paces. We get a little bit more time to start thinking and pondering on things and thinking about changing. And I know it's been on my mind lately just thinking about changing and I need to work on stop worrying about what could go wrong. We need to all start getting excited about the future and what it would be like if all the dreams and aspirations we have come true and focus on that. Focus on our bigger goals and what's gonna go right for us. That just pumps me up, gets me excited, and I hope it does the same thing for you guys. If you wanna make change in the world, sit back and think, if everything happened the way you wanted it to, what would the world be like? And meditate on that for a few minutes. That is awesome. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video. We love you all.